What is going on, family? Cribs here. Uh, subscribers, my my loving subscribers that come back and chill with me, um, thank you. Uh, I really appreciate the support, and your comments are just insane. Uh, the support is just insane, and insane is a good thing. I, I love it. I love the bannering back and forth. Uh, to all of you new folks that are just showing up, uh, may have heard heard of this or just stumbled across this on the old uh, interweb here. Uh, my name is Mike Cribs. Uh, in the community, I'm known as Swag. My Instagram channel is Swagfather. If you're into Jesus Christ, and I don't get preachy on it, um, I like to minister and I like to be positive, I like to be loving, and I like to be supportive. And I use having a beard and buying beard products and sharing them and doing an unboxing and giving you my first impressions as a platform to join as a family. Uh, that's what this channel is all about. That's therapeutic for me. So if you're into that kind of a thing, right down there somewhere is a subscribe button. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Got me some lip balm on here. Um, just got me some fresh uh, oil and butter in. I'm rocking oil and butter in today. Uh, leave a comment. Like, thumbs it up if you like the video. Share the video if you would. Uh, that helps helps me get around to people that may be looking for some stuff. There's a lot of good reviewers out there, but I kind of have my own style. Uh, and then always, if you want to, there will be some kind of a, a reminder bell that you can hit that'll that'll remind you when I have new content up, which is usually uh, just my channel is on Wednesday nights and Saturday mornings. That's usually my go-to. Um, Grab a cup of coffee. Let's chill. This is not going to be a quick video by any means. I've got three boxes here I want to unpackage and do a first impressions on. And I got something else I want to talk to you about as well, which is really cool. My shout out today is going to be of a guy that I have started to build a relationship with. Uh, he seems like a great man. I love his content, his live feeds. Uh, that's going to be Dave. Bearded Motivation. Uh, so reach out to him and go subscribe to his YouTube channel. Uh, Instagram is Bearded Motivation as well, I do believe. Uh, great guy. And I reached out to him. Uh, asked him about his chair that he had. And I'll tell you what, I went and got one. Um, I'm going to put up a picture right now of what it is. It's a Homel, uh, what is it, S Racer gaming chair. Uh, there will be a photo right up here that you can see the picture of. Um, great chair. It The rating factor of this chair is up to 330 pounds. I'm not a small guy by any means, so it's perfect. Um, man, it's comfortable. And I did a little bit of a modification to it as well, um, which I'm going to show you a picture here. Instead of these wheels that it came with, I'll just pop it up here, here on the screen somewhere. Uh, modification of some different kind of, uh, what do they call them? Rollerblade wheels. And man, this thing slides all over the place now. I've used them on a lot of my company chairs as well. So there will be a photo that pops up there. Um, there will be a link down below for everything that I'm talking about. Uh, I have an affiliate link through Amazon. The chair will be on there. Uh, the the uh, modified wheels that will fit on any office chair you got will be on there as well. I highly recommend those wheels for any chairs that you got. I don't. It doesn't cost you any more to to hit my link. It just maybe gives me and my family a little bit of kickback from Amazon. But so far, my first time sitting in this chair, it is absolutely amazing. The lumbar in the back is cool. It's adjustable. This little pillow in the back, ah, it's nice. It has the option of leaning back and forward. It does not have adjustable arms, but it does have arms, and they are not padded at all. Um, and then you basically have a height adjustment, and then one that you can basically kick it back out, and then you can rock if you want to. And then a spring for, or a tightener, an adjustment for the tightening for when you're rocking to make it a loose or kind of a tight. So that's my shout out to this chair right here. Everything will be linked below. 
So what else do I got for you today, guys? I think we're just going to bust right into these uh, beer products I got. I got some more on the way. Weird. But first one I want to get into is from my boy Tex. Got me a new knife here. I want to try out. This sucker is sharp. Tex. At Barn Brand Beards. Had a lot of Texas stuff before. Got the cantaloupe and smoke. I've got his uh, ghost buck. Uh, emo, emologist. But I had to get hold of that out of here. his snow buck. You know how I feel about this plastic crap. I know it helps. Now, let me see if it has a nice blue glass bottle. Look at Tech stepping his game up. Snowbuck. And if you haven't tried his ghost buck, guys, it's amazing. Okay, it does. Look at that. It has oud. Mint tobacco, leather, tonka bean, organic butters and oils. Oh my gosh. Hold on. I want to get into the oil first. I think that's awesome that he's got the scent profile, the label on top, as well as all the way around. It has the ingredients. I do believe that's the ingredients. Yep, right there. Everything you need to know is right here on this bottle. The ingredients, the scent profile, directions of use, and what it's called. Home run, Tex. Home run. That's the way it should be. That's cool. Then I don't have to look up, but I'll tell you what. This, this plastic stuff, come on, y'all. Just being transparent and truthful here about how I feel. Doesn't mean everybody else feels the same way. And I'm not digging at anybody. This stuff is garbage. Oh, my gosh. And Tech stepped his game up. That's a lot of garbage. Jeez, buddy. <laughs> oh, Lord. Let's have a coffee break after that workout. Those are amazing. That's great. Let me see on here. Let's just go ahead. That is awesome, man. Tex. Proud of you. I think he's got a new website coming up too, which is cool. Let's go. I got to tap into this. Oh. <laughs> A mint oud with tobacco. Oh my gosh. Are you freaking kidding me? Look at that goodness in that oil. All right, I gotta warm this up. I shouldn't. Whew. I can see. Jeez, I wish you guys could smell this. Oh my god! Oh, that mint is so dominating, but that tobacco and that oud just dance so well with it. Oh, wow. Now, it's a loud scent profile. In no means is it a, a soft or a subtle scent profile. That mint is just pow right in the face. 
But then you get that ood right in on the back note of it. Whew. Amazing. Gosh dang. Oh. It's just, I can't smell anything else but that mint and that ood. But it is so dang intoxicating, y'all. Wow. Oh, I could sit here for 20 minutes just talking about this. This is his butter. Ooh. Oh, y'all. Oh, first impressions. Absolutely outstanding and so glad that I jumped on it. Thank you, Tex. Mm. This other stuff I ain't even going to worry about. He... Tex will always, he really got into it big time where he would throw a lot of stuff into it, but extras, but I don't think he's, he's kind of calming down a little bit on that. Autumn Espresso, which I have, and then some Lumberjack, which I haven't tried, and then some Buckberry. That's cool. I'll try, I'll look into that later. Whew. Man, epic. Oh, that dude is coming out. Even more. Oh. Go to his website, and I would highly recommend that. If you're into oud and you're into mint, leather, what else was in there? Tobacco, what else? God dang. Oud, mint. Or is it a mint tobacco? Maybe it's a mint tobacco. Yeah. Leather and tonka bean. Blown away. Blown away. Next goodies I've got for y'all is from Royal Beardsman. The Beard Trends reviewers were doing a Royal Beardsman and they had a discount. Where is it? Right there. And my wife, due to the fact of this uh, Beard Gents challenge that I've been doing, the Mr. Cool with coconut in it, my wife loves coconut scents. And every time I wear it, she's like, oh my, you smell good, which is a plus. You can get the missus saying that you smell good, and the wife, your best friend, your lover, telling you you smell good. That's awesome. So, let's get this out here so you can see this presentation of this box, man. I'm telling you, one of the most kick-butt logos in the game, and I got it front and center on the old water bottle, is Royal Beardsman. Drink that water. Look at this box. Look at that box. That is a killer stamp. Killer logo. Royalty, but strong and manly. And again, the thank you Michael card. And he's stinking peanuts. Get rid of the garbage, the sealers on top of the, the bottles, that plastic. Use something else. Find something else, guys. 2020, let's step up and get rid of these stupid peanuts, these foam peanut things. Ugh, drops all over the place. Or, ah, let's just get all this stuff out of here. Gosh dang. And see, they're just messy. And I can't have my little boys getting into those because you know what that would do to a little Jack Russell's or a dog's body. It's not, not conducive. I got me a couple more. Royal Beards, man. Decals, which may go on my coffee mug, have a matching set. And let's see what else is in here. I guess it's just my order slip. Oh, and then a card. This is his card. Awesome card. Is there anything on here? Quality. Royal Beardsman. I'll have everything linked below for you guys so you can see it. Garrett Holman is the owner. Redbeard at royalbeardsman.com. And it's going up into the Walmart stash. And let me just close this up. Get this out of the way. Throw it on the garbage pile. Get that out of there, too. King's Lagoon. Look at that box. 
Amazing. A bomb. Two ounce. King's Lagoon. And then the four ounce butter in the King's Lagoon as well. So, just love these boxes. See? Man, this knifey is sharp. This is a, an old case. I think my dad gave it to me. That's a good letter opener. But boy, is it sharp. I'm going to have to put that away. Okay. Let's tap in, y'all. Two ounce oil with garbage on it. Gone. Let's get into this bomb, too. Boxes are cool. Presentation, amazing. Now he's got the logo on top. Nothing around on the sides and some small writing on the bottom, which is his ingredients, which I'm colorblind, so I can't really tell when it's like that. How to use, but it does not have the scent profile on the bomb. It does, but I can smell that coconut right now. On the butter, it has the ingredients, but no scent profile. Nothing on the sides as well. Logo on the top, and on the oil, it does have the scent profile on the oil. So let me show you this two ounce. King's Lagoon, made in the USA, how to use, and there's your scent profile with the ingredients, so good job. Coconut, citrus, and hints of vanilla. Boy, that's a lot of oil, guys. Oh, yeah, she's going to like that. Boy, it's the citrus, the vanilla, and the coconut all are just together. Not one is more dominant than the other. Very nice, clean oil. Pull this stuff up. Oh, yeah, she's going to love that. Nikki is absolutely going to love this. Oh, that's good. That's, that's It's a loud scent profile, but it's not pungent. I would have to say with Ghost Buck, it's kind of a pungent smell. That mint tobacco is pungent. I mean, it's it's very strong. Punch in the face. This is loud, but it's so smooth. Like with citrusy, coconutty, vanilla-y, you know, just sensual smells. Oh, I love that. And the only reason I would buy this is because of my wife. I mean, I'm not really into this, that kind of stuff. Smell and scent profile. Let's see the bomb. And of course, garbage. Gosh dang it. Watch. I mean, you see? Just about the experience, y'all. And if anything, I'm going to be transparent, truthful about how I feel about little pieces of garbage that I got to pull off. And it, whatever. But I like it clean. I like it easy to get into. You know, crap that I don't have to clean up. I'm a man and I'm lazy. <laughs> right? <laughs> Hold on. Coffee. Mm. Yeah. I could see this. And this is the bomb. Let me see if I can. That's nice. That's going to be a good hold and good conditioning. Melts great. It's not emulsify. It melts. Oh, that citrus. Citrus and that coconut really go well together. And that uh, vanilla just goes right in there to, to 
delicious. That's all I can say. It's a delicious, delicious smell, delicious scent profile, and great products. I haven't really got to dive into it because of this beer gent challenge, but boy, do I have some. Now, hopefully it don't have garbage. Let's see if this one comes off any easier. Ah, now, that's the way it's supposed to Look at that. Look at that light, fluffy butter. Wow. Mm. Now, if they came off that way uh, on everything, I would not mind. There. You just slide it off. That's gone. Ooh, man, that smells good. Let me, have, let me dive into this butter for you. No pressure at all, y'all. Oh, Wow. hear that whipped gosh dang and this is definitely I could wear this at night this is one of those uh, scent profiles that I consider a nighttime butter and a nighttime scent so that'll be good I can wear it during the day and I can also rock this stuff during the night with my butter my oil and butter which is great yes absolutely they're El Humidor as well amazing i just got to uh uh try that open that up on the beard trans as well first impressions it's probably going to be because it's hard to hard to beat han uh humidor but the el humidor it's right up there with if you've had adams uh, han yocker humidor the el humidor from royal beardsman is right up there with a true humidor tobacco smell uh that's what it smells like completely you're walking into a a cigar store uh so it's epic oh oh man and that ghost buck or not ghost buck but that snow buck Phew. okay now last but not least is a company that i have not tried before but i am going to be doing another unboxing with uh, my fellow brothers beer trends they'll be all linked down below too so go subscribe to them as well um but i ordered this one on my own uh it's called the gypsy tobacco and that's from renewed man and i do believe renewed man is nothing but essential oils he does not have any fragrance oils so i want to try this out Good looking box, good looking stamp as well. Groom and Style Company. Oop. Oop. Got some more tape over here I did not see. Slice my damn face open. There we go. Click. Now, let's let you see it. Pamphlet. And you can see some paper. Now that's better. Made like new, restored to freshness, vigor, or perfection. Renewed. Questions. Thank you. We are thankful for your support. When our business service what means the world does show us blah blah blah. Jared is the owner. I'll go in my Walmart stuff. So I got me the bomb. I'll show that to you. Ooh. And an oil. Oh, those bottles are killer. And I got me a requested a dropper top. You can you can get online. Or when you're ordering stuff, you can actually choose what method you want uh, for the dispersion of your oils. And look at that. A perfect sized decal for the water bottle and coffee bottle. Perfect. So let's get that out here. And I love the dropper tops. Restrictor tops are cool. Open is cool. I just like the dropper tops. So for that, for two oils and or for one oil and one bomb, it got sent to me in that delicious, cool-looking, I shouldn't say delicious, but cool-looking box. 
That's cool. Yeah, and that's a good one. Probably on the old coffee mug. Set that up there for now. Throw that away. Get this garbage off of here. The struggle is real, y'all. Get that out of there. Open this up. Take the top off. Throw that in the garbage. Put your dropper top right in there. Perfect. That's the way I like it. Garbage. So, let's go. Gypsy's Tabac. Tabac, I guess it would say. Beard oil. Great looking labels, y'all. Great looking labels. Frosted black bottle. And... To show you here how to use the ingredients and made aha look at there it's on there everything's on the bottle uh, the ingredients the how to which you should know how to use your stuff already and the scent profile amazing stepping it up in 2020 y'all and all essential oils, I do believe. Yep. Well, it says essential oil blend. So it's essential oils all blended together. Uh, apricot oil, almond seed oil. I won't go into that. Yeah, you can definitely tell that's essential. It's not out of the bottle one of my favorites. Oil looks really good though. Don't mix anything with it. Yeah, yeah. I can I can smell the tobacco, but it's it's a it's a natural tobacco. It's not all spruced up with the sweetness, and I can smell some of that spice too. It's a decent oil. It's a, it's a decent scent profile, I should say, but it's not one of my favorites for sure. But that's okay. That's just out of the bottle, guys. Out of the bottle. You never judge it when you get it in beard and you let that stuff warm it up and let it come to life. But I'll tell you what, the label's amazing. Fragrance oils, brother, I'm telling you. Get to the point of some fragrance oils. And his bomb, which has the ingredients. First one is beeswax. Get this garbage off of here. Black tin which I really like. Simple logo on the top, which is perfect. Oh, and look at that. Comes with a pick. So you probably know, and I can tell already. I could If this would come out, this thing would plop right out on top. You can see already it wants to come out. Oh, yeah. Whew. I got to push on that to even try to get it out. Let's see how it does in hand to melt. Not bad at all. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not bad. It's not a bad scent profile, but it, it is a natural tobacco with some spice in it. That's what I'm getting. Which, if you're into that, if you're into the traditionalists, I think that's great. <sighs> so, y'all. That's what I got for you for now. I've got some other stuff showing up today in the mail, but I thought I'd wait and get this video out. So that's my first impressions. That's some unboxings. And that's a lot of time we got to chill together. So thank you very much. I won't keep you anymore. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Uh, I love you. I'm proud of you. Uh, go tell somebody you're proud of them. Lift somebody up. And go out there and spread the love and positivity in the community, guys. Uh, peace out.